avoided the gift shop. I didn't. I nearly spent 700 quid, but then remembered I had to carry it. This, this is what I am here to see. Lots of lovely, lovely, beautiful women. And we will be in revolt later. <laughs> and from that moment onwards, I did take a few bits of video. Uh, but it's not, I am not of an age where it occurs to me when I am immersed in something to film it or take videos. I did take a few, they won't tell you a great deal and I still can't work out how to cut them in apart from doing it that way. However, the, the only one I took was of me coming out and I'm so sorry I'm not minded to share that publicly. The whole thing shook me in a way I hadn't expected. The women's movement in the early 70s, obviously, I was only a, a child then. So although I remember it and I remember a lot of the pictures, it didn't really affect me. It was as I was a teenager, bear in mind, I went away to school in 75 and I left school in the early 80s. And by about the late 70s, the women's movement was Obviously, I was old enough to see it happening in the background. Probably didn't really understand it a great deal. Um, but the eighties, the room, the the early, the first room was in the seventies, and it was a lot of the the artwork and stuff didn't change. So mimeograph thing, I they looked familiar. The pictures looked familiar, um, but it wasn't something I'd ever connected with. Um, the the next room. I got and I understood. Um, I always wish I only have one copy of Spare Rib and that was given to me by a very dear friend for my birthday several years ago. Unfortunately, all my old copies of Spare Rib went. It was only when I found myself in the early 80s living with a man who beat me up, treated me very badly, that I started connecting to the women's movement. I, I would love to be able to say, but I wasn't. I was a young girl. I was really drawn to this I was interested in it and then we went into the third room which was largely about the miners strike um, and about the role of um, well the women's lib movement feminism in the miners strike and also the you know all the CND stuff and what the, I can't even remember what the hell Greenham thank you I, my brain went blank now I never got to Greenham but I remember it very clearly. I tried to get to Greenham. I was going to try and go for the day with another woman I know, but I, I couldn't. My husband wouldn't have, wouldn't have taken it. Um, I do, however, remember the minor strike very clearly. And I remember I was involved in a small women's group. We met in somebody's room. I, I'm not going to say that I, I was really quite young and I quite I didn't understand some of it because obviously I've been brought up. I understand much more clearly now. But uh, we... We're standing outside Safeway trying to collect food for the miners. But I think I think that was something I'm not I think that was something that because obviously it was older women that they'd organised with other groups that were trying to collect. People spat at us for collecting food for the miners. My stepfather told me because he lived up Grimsby that they were selling their kids were selling their toys. And you wonder why I hate Thatcher, that's why I hate Thatcher. Um and more. But I hadn't bargained on walking into a room and, as you saw, all the lovely ladies I was with were considerably younger with me. And, of course, for them, it's history. You know, it's really interesting and it matters. And I agree, it's really interesting and it matters. But it was my past. I lived through it. And, of course, along with the memories, which it did, the artwork, the visuals, the whole thing, it brought back a load of other stuff that I hadn't thought or th even it even occurred to me that it would so the video I made as we left the exhibition I'm not minded to share I don't think thank you so much um yeah I, it literally took the feet out from under me um very upsetting don't forget history it really matters it really matters and one of that the things that it also brought home to me was when I pop into some of the history pages here um, of people showing videos, you know, old Pathé News things, are the racists turning up on them, the nasty little small-minded people who have this fictional vision of what this country was like in the past. And it's fiction. It was never like that. But yes, 
I urge you, if you have a chance, that the exhibition is not on for much longer. I urge you, if you have a chance, please go and see it. It's in the Tate Britain. It's called Women in Revolt. It's free to get in. Please go and see it. I urge you. We cannot let this past or history go unfelt. And of course, there are a lot of you I know that will remember it well. Be prepared. You might get more than the history there. I did. And like I said, I'm not sharing that. I'm so sorry.